hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you that how to write the manual test cases right so in this case we are taking the gmail login feature into the consideration and for the login functionality of gmail we'll write the manual test cases okay uh, one document is already available at the training portal itself under the test case uh, section of manual testing documents which is gmail test case so you can take the reference i'll show you uh, from the scratch so that you can get idea that how we think and how we actually process when we have to write one manual test case okay so for example if you uh, in a job you got a job and when your uh, supervisor asks you to write a test case or the manual test cases for any website so try to understand the process so that you can get the idea that how we actually write the test cases okay so first of all open the microsoft excel okay here is it fine see there are a few important and a kind of uh, essential fields what i'm going to write down here and you also can follow these uh, fields what i'm saying is uh, these fields are uh, important uh, but i'm not saying that this is the same format what you need to follow exactly right i am keeping the essential fields you can also include some other fields so one is called as the test case id another is the test title next is description another is uh, test case steps next will be expected result another will be actual result and then it will be status fine okay so these uh, are the basic uh, fields which we going to uh, actually work over when we are creating manual test cases okay so let me explain a bit about it uh, as the name suggest i mean uh, the test case id every test case what we create we assign a assign an id to the test case so that uh, it is able to uh, identify those test cases easily right so that we can uh, kind of keep indexing and then we can uh, follow with the same so one test case id so let's say i am writing test case id as manual testing case 01 so i am keeping mtc01 okay manual testing case 01 test title is gmail login test description description is actually uh, just describing what the your test case is about so testing login functionality of gmail okay and then test case steps so this is important so what we going to do is that uh, being manual tester we need to actually uh, provide these information one is the test case id second is the title the description of the test case and next which is very important field that is called as the test case steps that what steps uh, a tester is going to perform when he or she is going to actually test this test case what I, what i am writing right now okay so these will be steps then i'll also write down the expected result okay that if you execute these steps what is going to be the expected result so i'll also write down the expected result and after that actual result will be filled by the tester who is actually testing the test case on the real scenario right and 
if the expected result and actual results result matches then the status will be pass or if both are different actual result is not matching with the expected result then it will be a case of fail fine that is how we call as the test case is pass or fail okay so let us uh, go to the gmail so precondition is uh, that we should have a web browser so we also can write down the precondition as one more column i'm not writing down right now the precondition column so what i'll do is step one is open okay so open the www.gmail.com on web browser right then what you need to do is second step what you want to do that write or uh, type a, a valid email id in the email section so second step will be or type valid gmail or email id in mail id section okay third you going to do is you going to click on next click on next let's say i provide one valid gmail id and click on next fine so now what i need to provide is one thing is that this page should appear right so i can provide the checkpoints as well in this case for example i can uh, uh, as an expected result i can show that you will be able to get a page which require a password right so i can write down here as a expected result one web page which gives an option to enter password okay so fourth what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter valid or i would say correct password okay so let's say i provided correct password and then i click on sign in right so click on sign in so when i click on sign in i should able to get this home page of gmail right the login after the login page so this is going to be my expected result so expected result is user is logged into gmail fine so guys uh, this is going to be one of our basic test case right in which this is my test case id this is my title this is the description these are the test case steps these are the expected result and these are the actual result when we going to execute and then we going to have these actual results and this is going to be our status the test case is passed or test case is failed right so right now i am actually signing out and then manually i am going to test the gmail 
uh, login functionality again so as of now we created the test case and the test case what we created is testing gmail login with valid user id and password right so this is something what we done oh my god sorry okay fine looks much better so you can do all these beautification and all so if i try to execute this precondition is i am able to open the uh, web browser then first step what i'm going to do is open www.gmail.com on web browser so www.gmail.com on web browser okay so gmail home page is opened right okay so gmail home page is open yes gmail home page opened right next is type valid gmail id let me hit a uh, valid gmail id let's say i use uh, trooper projects okay and then i click on next and i click on next okay fine so one web page which gives gives option to enter password okay so gives option to enter password i got a web page providing option for password right fine then enter correct password let me enter correct password then click on sign in then click on sign in okay then user is logged into the gmail let's see if it logged into gmail or not okay it seems uh, it is logged into gmail right so this is logged in to gmail so guys now what we going to do we going to compare the expected result and actual result so the expected result what gmail home page is open the gmail home page was open the status is yes one web page which gives and gives an option to enter password so got a web page providing option to enter password test case is passed right i would say it pass not yes and user is logged into gmail yes i was able to log into gmail so this test case this manual test case where when i what what i tried to run it actually uh, I, I tested and this test case is running successfully that is why all the status are passed and overall this test case is going to be a pass test case I hope it makes sense I tried to explain you from the scratch and with all the basic steps now what you can do is you can do some more variations you you try to write these uh, I mean test cases with the different parameters like gmail test case login functionality with let's say valid user ID and uh, incorrect password another one you can test is which could be like uh, with invalid right invalid user id and password right so these are the various 
uh, I would say cases you can keep going you can then MTC 02 then the title then the description test cases expected result actual result and then status so this is how you actually uh, write the test cases there are more fields as I told you the preconditions and some more requirements and other, other things which you can also write down if required but these are some essential fields what are actually expected that is why I added these uh, important five to six fields in my test case I hope you uh, got the idea uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions you can post the same questions in the YouTube video itself thanks